Hi there, uh, another quick video, um, sort of about the WRTH, sort of about the state of radio in general. Um, so these are my five copies from the past five years, uh, 2016 to 2020. 2016, I suppose, was the end of the year when I first got back into DXing, having kind of been in and out of it for 20 odd years. Um, and what I have done in previous years is sort of compare the content, how it's changing, um, because that can kind of suppose give you a little bit of an insight into the state of uh, the hobby and uh, radio in general. Now, what is interesting is that whatever happens, the um, number of pages in the WRTH never changes. It's always 672, or at least it has been for the past five years. It was 672 in 2016, and it's still 622. Um in 2020. Um, what's also interesting is that um, the number of advertisers that also hasn't changed significantly. Uh, I think this year for 2020, I think there were about 20 advertisers. I think there were 21 um, in 2016, and it's basically remained very consistent. What's also good uh, is that the BBC World Service continue to support the WRTH with an advert near the front. There's their advertisement for 2020. And I think last year was a rocket, was the shuttle. There you go. There's their advertisement for 2019. And I think it was the same ad for 2018. And I'm not sure. Yep, same ad for 2017. And I can't remember what they did for 2016. Was there even an ad in there? Possibly, possibly not. Um, but anyway, you get the idea. Basically, um, the BBC are supporting the WRTH uh, and the number of pages, is, as I said, is, remains exactly the same and the um, number of advertisers remains the same. Um, what is interesting is in terms of the state of broadcast shortwave stations um the section here shortwave stations of the world so this is basically a list of all shortwave stations on all frequencies um listed by frequency starting on 120 meters and in 2020 there are 19 pages of stations shortwave broadcast stations um in 2018 and 29 sorry in 2018 and 2019 there were 21 pages and in 2016 and 2017 there were 23 pages so in five years the number of stations broadcasting on shortwave or at least the pre their presence on shortwave because obviously stations are repeated many times because they broadcast on many frequencies has reduced from 23 pages down to uh, 19 so We've lost four pages worth in five years, which means uh, at that current rate of attrition in, well, 25 years, there'll be nothing left if that's a decent measure of the uh, state at which uh, broadcasting on HF is, de is in decline. Um, but it'd be interesting to see whether that happens or not because the nature of the world is changing. It's a it seems to be a more volatile place these days. Um, it feels like a more dangerous place and sort of paradoxically I think that the importance of international broadcast radio I think is now being seen even by the BBC actually as perhaps more important and more relevant than it has for probably a couple of decades um, so we'll have to see whether that decline continues but so there is a decline but it's as I said it's four pages from 23 uh, from a total of 23 in 2016 to uh, 19 in 2020 so um it's in decline but it you know that's fairly a fairly slow uh decline but it, obviously it's a very kind of coarse kind of measure it's just the total number of stations broadcasting by frequency uh, around the world so um yeah interesting nevertheless and it's one of the first things i always check um when i get a new copy a new edition of the uh of the w wrth so um so there you go i just thought that was uh was interesting um 
to note. Um, otherwise, over the past five years, it's remained pretty, pretty much the same. The format's exactly the same. Uh, it makes you realise how long radios. I mean, here's an advert for the Eaton satellite, and that radio was around five years ago. It still kind of feels like it was a new radio, but there's an advert for it on the inside front cover in 2016. Um, it just goes to show how time flies. Uh, I'm just trying to see. Okay, so there's the actual review of it from five years ago. Uh, CC Crane, CC Skywave. Uh, the AOR, AR, DV1, that feels really new to me still, but clearly been around quite a long time. Texan PL680. Uh, oh, the NTI ML200 Megaloop. So that's the, what is now the Benito Megaloop. Uh, Rebranded. Anyway, so there you go. WRTH, still the Bible for the DXA. Still the reference guide that, in my experience at least, um, is very rare. Well, I, th I can't think of when, it, when it's ever been... I can't think of an, a, a, a situation where I've been listening and it's given... And I've read the incorrect information from it. It's always been spot on, which is why it's so valuable. So there you go. WRTH for the last five years. Interestingly... The 1998 edition, so 21, 22 years old, um, is right here. So back in those days, there you go, Sony on the inside front cover, back in 98. It's a completely different format. Um, JRC, still a wind radio advert. JRC NRD three four five. Look at that. There you go. Beautiful. But this is twenty years ago. Yeah, you go. The AOR uh, AR seventy thirty. One of the best communication receivers of all time, I would say. So universal radio. Advertised 21 years ago, still around today. Um, there you go. So, just thought I'd make that point that um, HF broadcast is not dead. Um, we've still got 19 pages of stations to work with. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, long may it continue. Oh, by the way, this is um, video is being made in my new shack, which um, is a lot bigger in space than... Um, my previous shack, but I'll do another video on that one. I'll do a channel update and uh, and give you guys the gen on that one. All right. Okay. Well, have a very happy new year and thanks for watching.